Tonight we are finding more about that East Haven mother found in her house with her two dead children. It turns out she has been in trouble with the law before. Hi everybody, glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Frank. I'm Ann Nyberg. Tonight we have arrest affidavits tied to this woman that she was previously charged with assault and the child's father had filed a restraining order against her. News 8's Bob Wilson has been going through these documents tonight. He has the very latest tonight live from East Haven. Bob? And we want to just bring you up to date on the investigation. Police not releasing the names of the two children or the mother because they have not positively identified the two children. And once they do, they say then they will make the final next of kin notification to the grandparents. So right now we're waiting on positive ID from the children who used to live here. Meanwhile, they're not releasing it to the schools. They went to a magnet school not here in East Haven. There are two empty desks there and no explanation has been put out according to parents who have been showing up here at the house trying to see exactly what happened. We had a little girl, six, seven years old, come up. She looked at the flowers, looked at the stuffed animals, turned to her neighbor and said, I guess they're not going to be at field day this week. Tonight, neighbors gather in front of the house on Strong Street to light candles and reflect on two young lives cut tragically short. Today's such a beautiful day. I mean, they would have been playing outside right now. That was, how, that was like what they used to do. When it was nice out, they'd go play. So it's... It's really sad. Police have not arrested or charged the mother with anything or even put her down as a suspect. But tonight, the News 8 investigators have dug into the mother's past. We found out she's facing charges of assault and breach of peace. Court papers say the mother hit the father right in front of their young children after being picked up from school. Quote, three times with a clenched fist to his forehead area, leaving visible scratch marks, which I observed. Closed quote. The officer goes on to say, Quote, both children were present in his vehicle at the time of the altercation and witnessed said incident. Court documents also show the father has taken out a restraining order against the mother just this past April. And a search of criminal history shows she has been convicted of risk of injury to a minor back in 2006. I am completely shocked and heartbroken and I can't imagine what those children must have been, you know, feeling or dealing with. Tonight, as police carry electronics and large evidence bags from the house, the 911 calls have been released from that Tuesday afternoon when the children were discovered. Oh, that's where she lives? Yes, I'm here right now. She says she caught herself, but I can't get in the house. Okay, you're just trying to get in the house? Okay, Do you, does she live alone? Yes, with her kids. With her kids? Where are the kids? Do you know? Their kids laying down. There's been activity at the house all evening long. Detectives going in and out, as you just saw, removing evidence from the scene. Also, people in the neighborhood, people who knew the family and the children, also complete strangers, leaving stuffed animals, flowers, coming here to express their deepest condolences, still trying to figure out exactly how this could have happened. I can't wrap my mind around it. I still can't, like it's been a day and I still can't, like it doesn't feel real, it's surreal. Now tonight the mother is still in the hospital recovering from the wounds. Police say they do have an officer stationed at the hospital. However, we, again, we want to emphasize police have not said she's a suspect. She has not been arrested or charged with anything at this point. I'm Bob Wills reporting live in East Haven, News 8. Members of the community have been reaching out, giving their condolences to the family. As Bob mentioned, the president of Gateway Community College, uh, Dorsey Kendrick, says members of the GCC community wish to express their deepest condolences to the family as they mourn the loss of two of their precious children. Our thoughts and prayers are with them during this painful and challenging time.